So growing up, I don't remember much about peanut allergies. In fact, I remember bringing peanut butter sandwiches to school. And I don't remember needing to bring my own supplies, although we did go back to school shopping and I bought a lot of supplies. I remember having everything I needed in the classroom. And I remember my teacher being able to help me with anything that I needed help with. I remember my teachers being very, very helpful. What I don't remember though is when I learned to tie my shoelaces and I just, I just can't remember if my teacher taught me how to tie them or if that's something that I already went to school with. Was it a skill that I already had? I don't remember. I don't know. I just simply don't remember. By the way, I'm Melissa and this is Couch Mom Club. I'm a mother of three and on this channel you'll find all kinds of things related to motherhood. And today I'm gonna give you a little bit of a hack on how to teach your child how to tie their laces. Do I even tie my laces now? I can't even remember the last time I tied laces. I think that now I just, you know, leave them tied and just slip my shoes on and off. But the fact is I do know how to tie my laces and somewhere along the line, I learned how to do that. But in recent times, and I remember that when I was getting my son ready to start school for the first time, on the list of things that I needed to have him learn or he needed to know before school was tying the laces. Right on the form it said, if your kid doesn't know how to tie their laces, send them to school with shoes without laces. We will not be helping your child tie their laces. It didn't say that, but that is basically the message that I was getting. The reason why they didn't want um, your kid going to school with laced shoes is because if they did not know how to tie them themselves, they wouldn't have time to lend to either teaching your child how to do it or stopping every five minutes to retie and tie again and all of that stuff. And I get it. Teachers are extremely busy. Classroom sizes are bigger and there are just different things that need attention and I can understand that so you know tying shoes for 30 children is not necessarily the best way to spend the day and I totally 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 understand however it doesn't change the fact that a child should learn and will eventually need to learn how to tie shoelaces there was a video that I came across it was a mom showing exactly how to do that and it was interesting it was very interesting. The video was a viral video. I think there was like a million views on it or whatever. And I decided to duet the video um, because in her video, she explained that this hack, she did not show a child doing it. And I thought to myself, you know, even though Teo and I were learning how to tie laces, it was something that I kind of just didn't bother to pursue because I just bought shoes without laces and I sent him to school with shoes without laces. But he was interested in learning and I thought, hey, let me see if he knew how to do this method. There you go. So when I do edit the video, I posted it and it was his hands in the video doing his own laces and people had a lot to say about it. I found what was interesting after posting the videos and seeing a number of different comments was that children age eight or nine are still having trouble or difficulty with tying their laces. So I think that if your child is four, five, six, seven, eight, sometimes even until they're 11, if they're having difficulties with tying their laces, it is completely normal. So if a teacher is making you feel that, you know, at age four when they're entering school or age six when they're about in grade one that a child needs to know how to tie their shoes, not really. <laughs> you, you will be among company if your child is eight or even a little older and still doesn't know how to fully tie their shoelaces. The other thing that I noticed was that people are really pressed <laughs> when it comes to just different hacks, I guess, that are out there for, you know, to make mom's life easier. How many people are just like, oh, buy Velcro, buy Velcro, buy Velcro. But the fact is that if you're talking about teaching your child to tie their laces, buying Velcro doesn't really answer the question. You know what I mean? Like, okay, yes, you can buy Velcro shoes or shoes without laces, but that does not help you to teach your child how to tie their laces. But this hack actually does work. The other thing that I noticed is that like any other video, good or bad, you have your trolls in the trolling section where they're just like, I just want it. <laughs> 
people are funny. Like, let me just put it that way. You know, people were saying that the, the hack was incorrect. You shouldn't be teaching your child how to tie their shoes that way. You shouldn't do it because it's dangerous. And I was thinking, okay, <laughs> dangerous. I don't know, maybe. So many moms were saying that this method was actually very helpful. So many moms were weighing in talking about how that's how their child learned how to tie their shoes. So I'm gonna give you this little hack. I'm gonna show you how to do it really, really quickly. And for anybody who is upset about that video, the little plastic bit on the end of your lace is called an aglet, not a plastic thingy. So basically you'll have your shoes, your child will stick the aglet piece into the first hole of the shoe on either side. Normally, in the traditional way of tying your lace, you'll start with one knot, but we're not gonna do it like that. We are gonna do both laces on their respective sides with the aglet through the top hole. And then you are gonna just take the two loops and loop them twice and tie it. Tie it twice because that creates the double knot and it is probably the easiest way to teach your child how to tie their lace. Now, of course, if your laces are not in pristine condition, you might find some challenges to this method. What you wanna do is either purchase new laces where the aglet is intact, or like I have done with my son's shoes, you can use a little bit of tape that is tightly wound on each end, and that creates a little faux aglet, if you will, right? This method I find is really, really easy to teach, and it is really, really easy to learn and to grasp. Now, is this the way that your child is gonna tie their shoelaces forever and ever and ever? I don't know, maybe as they get older, they'll learn a better way or a different way or they'll be influenced by other kids who are tying their shoes in a different way and they'll pick up different methods. But as the initial you know, fundamental skill, you can teach this method and I promise you it is easy and it helps your child to feel pride. It helps them to feel accomplished. They have gotten that you know, that the notch in their belt, so to speak. They are now an accomplished shoelace tying genius and they are gonna feel that way, trust me. So is it dangerous? I don't know. Is it the best method to tie laces? Probably not, but will it suffice for a four-year-old or an eight-year-old who is just learning how to tie their lace? I think so. This is one of the very rare mom hacks that is actually a mom hack because in parenting, there are no real hacks. <laughs> you just have to trudge through, you have to learn day by day, and you have to just keep going. Here is a really cool video to teach your kids something else. I think you should watch it because it's really cool, and I'll see you in the next video.